Glutathione is the body's master detoxification molecule, able to detox free radicals, heavy metals, drugs, and other poisons. It's so important to our health and well-being that cell levels are now becoming an important predictor of our lifespan. Our cells make glutathione from three amino acids in a two-part process. In phase one, L-cysteine and glutamic acid are linked by an enzyme called glutamate cysteine ligase to form the molecule gamma glutamyl cysteine or GGC. In the second phase, GGC is linked to glycine by the enzyme glutathione synthetase to form reduced glutathione, also known as GSH. The popular and well-studied supplement NAC or N-acetylcysteine provides the body with a readily available form of cysteine that can help increase GSH. However, certain research has shown that NAC primarily raises glutathione levels when the body experiences an acute GSH drop. This is the case with NAC used as an antidote for acetaminophen poisoning in hospitals worldwide since the 1960s. But NAC may not be sufficient to increase cell GSH levels beyond homeostasis, so is there actually a way to raise cell glutathione levels beyond what they are normally? The first thing to know is that GSH works with a number of nutrients that help increase its power and lifespan. For a few examples, vitamin C is an antioxidant that can attack free radicals first, sparing GSH, and it can also help convert oxidized glutathione back into its original form. Taken as a supplement, it's been shown to increase GSH levels in red blood cells. Levels of the antioxidant vitamin E have similarly been shown to be significantly related to glutathione levels. The mineral selenium is really important as it helps raise levels of the enzyme glutathione peroxidase and is considered an essential cofactor for GSH activity. And alpha-lipoic acid is also considered a cofactor for GSH because it stimulates the essential enzyme glutamate cysteine ligase. The second thing to know is that ready-made gamma glutamyl cysteine has been shown to increase GSH levels in the short and long term. As far as I'm aware, two options currently exist to get GGC as a supplement. And the first is whey protein. Whey not only contains ample amounts of all three amino acids needed for GSH production, it also contains GGC in several forms such as lactoferrin and albumin. Several studies have shown whey's ability to increase GSH levels for longer terms, making it perhaps the top glutathione food out there. Quality is key though, so be sure to buy grass-fed, organic, and cold-filtered if possible in a concentrate or isolate form. If you want a brand specifically researched to get good results, try ImmunoCal whey protein, which has been shown to markedly improve neuroprotection and immune cells in studies. The second option is a supplement called Glytine, sold under the brand name Continual G. Glytine is simply gamma glutamyl cysteine, ready to be converted into glutathione by the body. Studies have shown that GGC can rapidly increase cell GSH levels with a single dose. If you spend the money to buy Continual G though, be sure you're also getting enough glycine, the third amino acid in the GSH equation. Glycine has the potential to be a rate limiting nutrient for GSH production. And research has shown that GGC converts to a metabolite called 5L-oxoproline that is excreted in the urine when there's not enough glycine available to complete the transition from GGC to GSH. This is more of an issue for vegans and vegetarians, but most people can likely use a little more glycine due to its numerous health benefits. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.